Last year, we boasted five schools. This year, the district had an amazing 11 schools earn Washington Achievement Awards. Let's go visit a few of those schools and see what strategies are making a difference in elevating test scores. Once again, Evergreen schools are being recognized for all the great things happening in our classrooms. This year, 11 schools in the district were honored with a prestigious Washington Achievement Award. The awards are given each year by the Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction. Riverview Elementary received awards in three categories, science, closing achievement gaps, and overall excellence. Fisher's Landing Elementary also received three awards for math, science, and overall excellence. Also recognized in the science category were Hearthwood Elementary and Mill Plain Elementary. Columbia Valley Elementary received an award for closing achievement gaps. Only 11 middle schools in the state received Washington Achievement Awards this year, and four of them are in the Evergreen District, including Covington Middle School, honored for closing achievement gaps. Also receiving awards in this category are Cascade Middle School, Pacific Middle School, and Shahala Middle School, which received an award for overall excellence as well. At the high school level, Union High received an award for extended graduation rate, and Heritage High School was singled out for achievements in language arts. These awards are the result of many new programs and teaching methods, which are making a real difference in classrooms across the district. This story takes place in winter, and it is really, really cold in this area. The staff at Riverview gives credit to their DIG program. DIG stands for Daily Instructional Groups. So we've developed a schedule that we use every day, daily instructional groups, where um, students each grade level has a specific time during the day that we provide intervention in reading for the kids who are not meeting standard in reading. DIG students spend a half hour getting extra instruction in reading, either in the classroom with their teacher, or they may be pulled out in small groups to work with a reading specialist. The DIG schedule allows them to spend more time on reading without missing regular classroom lessons. The program also hinges on frequent student assessments to find out where kids need more work. You have to use what the kids can do, what the kids need most next. And you want to build on what they can do. You want to build on their strengths. Riverview's progress in science can be traced to a series of engaging hands-on projects in the classroom. These kids were given the challenge of designing a landscape and lighting it with an electrical circuit. In the process of that, then they're learning about systems, they're learning about solving problems, they're learning about technological design. So it's incorporating all kinds of relevant, practical, real life application of science, which is a huge contrast to the teacher in the front of the room saying, this is how science works. Behind all of this is a culture of excellence with teachers and staff working together to help kids learn. Our school is on fire to learn more as educators and we're excited about it, we're excited about the kids, we want to grow and I really think it translates to what happens with kids. Covington Middle School's progress in closing achievement gaps is also the result of a dedicated staff working hard for students every day. The award is based on results of the Washington Measurements of Student Progress Test. Last year, for instance, 75% of our uh, sixth graders passed the reading test, which a jump of about 12%. Five of the six tests, we made growth. So our kids were better from one year to the next year. And really what that means is that we're having a positive impact on kids and we're accelerating their learning. Covington is piloting a program this year which blends special education students into regular, smaller sized classrooms taught by a special ed teacher. The teachers will tell you that they've had a great deal of success with it. Just in terms of kids who last year didn't talk, didn't say anything, they're now engaged in their own learning. They're asking questions, they're participating at a level that they didn't when they were in a large classroom. Principal Byron Molly says the blended classrooms are improving the performance of special ed students and helping to close the achievement gap. I and mean, that's what accelerates that learning for those kids. They're putting them in a situation where they can learn and they feel good about themselves through that process. Covington is also gaining ground through regular meetings of their professional learning communities. PLCs are in place at all schools in the Evergreen District, giving teachers an opportunity to work together and shape curriculum. 
that's what they're going to have to do for the MSP. So if we are just assessing for conclusion. And a PLC is a grade level group of teachers teaching the same subject area. So I have four humanities teachers who teach English and uh, history. They will meet for one hour when they don't have kids to do unit planning and, and a bigger picture in terms of what the standards are that we're teaching to, help design the rubrics that, that help us judge the work, and then to assess the kids in their learning. So guys, let's talk about um, your finals. At Union so High School, the numbers say it all. The school had a graduation rate of 95.3% for the 2011-2012 school year, and for this year, they're on track for a graduation rate close to 99%. Associate Principal Lynette Sundstrom says the main reason for that success is the academy, a kind of school within a school designed to get at-risk kids to graduation. The academy is really a community that the staff have, has built within the school. And so we know for kids to be successful, there has to be that community feeling. They need to have relationships with each other and with the adults. It was really important for us to create that environment. The staff converted a teacher planning room into an academy classroom, creating a casual atmosphere in a place where students want to hang out. They have time to eat and spend time together and talk and work on homework or just meet with their teacher. You know, they get connected. They get connected to their classroom and to their classmates and to their teacher. And so they want to be there. And that's really the key to it being successful. The Academy also has a staff member dedicated to tracking student records, making sure they'll have the credits to graduate. She monitors all of those things that basically put them at risk. And then she brings the students in, talks to them, works with them, you know, finds out what we can do to help them. All of the Academy staff go the extra mile to build relationships with kids and keep them on the road to graduation. They found a unique and creative way to make the most of the staff's time and resources. We have Alex Mintz, who's one of our security guards. He actually spends time in what we call the Aventa Lab every day. And again, it's about him building relationships with the students, checking their progress, making sure they're working on their classes, and just kind of being there to support them. Wow, you're doing really great, yeah. Alex works with students okay. using the Aventa program, a series of online courses covering a wide variety of subjects. He sees his classroom time with students as an extension of his role as security guard and says it gives him another way to stay on top of discipline and attendance issues. And so by my spending more time with them, it's more being more proactive. So I'm, I'm doing the security job, but I'm doing it in a little bit different way. Great teachers, great staff, and great kids. The Washington Achievement Awards earned by 11 of our schools are the result of dedicated educators and the effective new ways of teaching being implemented at all of our Evergreen schools. Education has changed so much since I started. I think it's exciting. I think we're part of a fabulous district. People are working like crazy for kids in this district, and I think it's, it's a fabulous district across the board.